Welcome back to Offer and Outlaws, guys, and you may notice that we are not in our normal tundra, or I should say one of the tundras we are normally in. We are, in fact, in my Ram 3500 with the flatbed, and I may have just given away the reason for this video, but, but, I will be going over that in just a moment. Now, as you can see, we are out here at our main house on Twin Rivers Lake, and I've actually been really, really excited to be able to show you this because in the past I had talked about potentially getting a shop built here. Well, thanks to the map's creator, we actually legitimately now have our own shop, and that's what I'm going to show you guys right now. Now, the garage has had some upgrades made to it as well, but the main upgrade to the property is our gigantic brand new shop right here. On property, literally a on property shop that says TC right outside the door. Now, I am extremely excited to have been able to work with the creator of this map on this upgrade, and there's also some upgrades that have been done to Lake of the Ozarks as well that I'm gonna be showing you guys later on down the road, but this is the main feature that we're gonna be showing you guys today. Now, we also have a truck to pick up from a buddy of mine's shop a little bit further on down the road. We're going to have to go and pick that up a little bit later on because we need to actually bring it home and finish doing some work on it right here in the shop. We're literally, we just got this shop done and we're putting it to work straight away. So as you can see, we have two different uh, types of drive-on lifts. We have a four post right here and we have a little bit more of like a solid one right here. It just depends on what kind of work you're gonna be doing. You've got a workbench over here. We've got like a table over there just kind of for chilling out. And now we're gonna go hook up our gooseneck and head out to town to pick up our slammed F450 show truck from a friend of mine's shop, get it back here and throw it on one of the lifts. So let's get the Dodge hooked up to the gooseneck and we're gonna be on our way. Easy. And we're trying to get, I'm trying to get as close as possible and hooked up. Wow, that was like just about perfect the first time. The trailer barely even moved at all the second we got hooked up to it. Now, I love this area out here on Twin Rivers Lake. This is an incredible map. And if you haven't actually had the chance to mess around with this map in the past, I highly, highly recommend that you do so because not only is it a wonderful map for roleplay, but it's a wonderful map for doing just about any type of vehicle-based roleplay in the game. I mean, you have large bodies of water that you can use for boats and jet skis and stuff like that, but you also have all of these different, like, you have this resort right here, you have all the different houses, you have different shops, different, like, junkyard areas and stuff like that. Basically, every single thing that you might want to roleplay out, you even have, like, an underpass area here that you can use for truck meets, which I think is such a cool thing. You also have different gas stations, different truck meet areas around the map as well. But the main thing, like I said before, that we're going to be focusing on is our new shop. Now, if you're more into going out on the trails than you are into, let's say, for example, using the boats or the jet skis, this map actually has some trail areas and some farm areas, as well as a gigantic loop trail, if that's something that you're more interested in, or maybe if you have like a rock crawler that you're looking to build and test out. So let's ease it on up here. Come on. Our right-hand turn is going to be right here. You might be able to see the F-450 show truck, the slammed one right up here, the slammed dually. Now, I don't really have all that many of these slammed trucks, but they are really, really cool once you actually once you actually build a garage full of, like, you know, lifted trucks, mud trucks, off-road trucks, you know, uh, trail rigs. It is nice to kind of have something that's a little bit different, and this slammed F-450 has definitely kind of filled that niche for me. So let's ease it on up here. Come on. Got to get this thing into a position where it might be able to actually get loaded up. It's at a bit of an awkward angle right now, but I'm going to try to back it up sort of alongside. I did not mean to run my trailer into my truck. That was unintentional. Uh, we're going to we're gonna gloss over that and not worry about it. It's fine. Hey, okay, just fine. Don't worry about it. This may work. Here we go. Not bad. All right, I was trying to get it around back into there so I could turn it this way and drive the other rig onto the trailer. The only thing with that is the fact that I need to situate my truck and trailer in a very specific way. Come on. I feel like I should be close enough now. I feel like. Here we go. Alright, let's go ahead and swap over. Now we got to get this guy into position. Let me back you up just a bit. 
Now, this thing was out here getting a couple of upgrades, like a bigger turbo and a couple of fuel system things. And I got to tell you, it's freaking quick. A lot of people in Offered Outlaws, they end up like sleeping on these slammed trucks because they're, they're freaking quick. They are so fast. All right, let's go ahead and get this guy up on the trailer. And now we should be good to go to head back to the shop. It's good to go. Oh my God, that is not what I intended to have happen. Oh my gosh, some uh, some strange things happen sometimes with this trailer that you just can't explain. Rather, it's kind of a dynamic of different objects, but you know, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Right, let's get this guy backed up into that same area that we were in before. I can't back up a trailer today. I don't know why I can't back up a trailer today, but I can't back up a trailer today, like at all. I'm just gonna back it straight out of here. I'm not even gonna worry about trying to back it into that notch right there. I'm just gonna back it straight on out of the road. And I'm gonna worry about turning around later. Lock everything down. I, I am tired of this thing spinning. Lock everything down. Here we go. Oh, don't you tell me that that curb is gonna give me an issue now. Okay, I just, dude, I just like put every little bit of fuel into that that I could. And you know what? I'm not sorry about it because it worked. Come on, there we go. And now it's time to go ahead and head home and get this guy back in the shop. Now, it's really, really cool. I've got to admit, it's really, really cool being able to pick up one of your trucks from a shop, take it back to your house, and literally take it off the trailer and put it back into your own shop. That is so cool. I cannot thank the creator of this map enough for actually like going to going through the work of putting a shop right there by my house. That's so freaking cool. And now all we gotta do is give it all the fuel back down the highway, back to our house, and we'll get this guy unloaded and ready to go. All right, our exit should be coming right up. There it is. Not bad. Not bad at all. Dude, I don't know why my, I don't know why the wrong turn signal kept going off. Oh, there we go. Come on. There's my right turn signal. Come on, right turn signal. Now it does now you don't want to work, do you? Now you don't want to work. Man, I might have to put the Dodge in the shop to work on its electrics. Uh, that's, that's a bit disheartening, isn't it? Come on. Come on. Don't get the trailer stuck. Don't get the trailer stuck. I put it back in two-wheel drive because I was going to be on the pavement again, but I didn't really, really think about the fact that there are some areas where, with that amount of weight, I mean, the four-wheel drive might have actually helped me. All right, here we go. Use the momentum and keep it wide. I'm going to put the four-wheel drive on now because we're about to go back up the driveway. Got to use that momentum to my advantage, right? Come on. Oh, my God, the weight. Whoa. Okay. Oh no! Did I just get stuck in my own driveway? I just got stuck in my own driveway. Oh, great. Great. Well, that's lovely. Hmm. Okay. That's absolutely lovely indeed. Having to winch up my own driveway. Brilliant. Now, I will say though, I probably could fix this if I raised this truck up a little bit and gave it a slightly bigger tire size because I see what's happening. I mean, the front of the trailer is dragging on the ground. Oh my God, and now it's doing the same thing again. Lovely, absolutely lovely. All right, now that we've got that taken care of, let's get you up to the shop. And I might actually, well, no, you know what? I was about to say, ah, I might back it up there. And then I realized, I was like, nope, I'm not backing it up there, uh-uh. Uh-uh, I remember what happened the last time I tried to do that. And that wasn't even up a hill. All right, let's get you off the trailer and get you into the shop for the rest of the work. And not only is it is it going to be a really cool place to, like, work on trucks, but it's going to be such a cool place to actually store them, too. All right, let's get you up onto the lift. Dude, it actually scraped the bumper on the way into the shop. Is my truck too low? It's like, tell me your truck is too low without telling me your truck is actually too low. Wow, though. I gotta center it. It's like super crooked on the lift, but I gotta get, once I get it centered, it should look great. Bring it back. Yo, oh my God. We got the show truck in the shop now. Oh, that is so cool. 
That is so freaking awesome, dude. Oh my god. I, I love this. I absolutely love it. I am so over the moon about my new shop. And I want to say massive thanks to you guys for watching. And if you enjoyed, please do let me know any of your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. And if you have any other thoughts for what we should add to this property, once again, leave those thoughts and opinions in the comments. And if you're new around here and you'd like to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. See y'all later.